everyone, welcome to Keeper of My Home. My name is Erica, and on this channel, I my purpose is to serve you. This is based on biblical principles on the Bible, and I just want to be an encouragement to you. I want to be a sister to you. I want to be that sister you've always needed, or that sister in Christ you've always wanted to encourage you, to support you, and to also show you what I know, or what I'm learning, or what I've learned in homeschooling and homemaking, making dinners and marriage, all the good stuff, everything related to being a woman of God. And so if you're interested in any of those things, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you will be notified every time I upload a video. So today I wanted to talk to you about something my friend and I were talking before service yesterday about being busy, about um, just being overwhelmed or feeling behind when our kids are sick or when we're sick and then we're starting school and homeschooling and we feel like we're so behind and 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 we want to accomplish so much and and uh, sometimes when we don't fulfill those goals we feel discouraged we feel behind we feel um just like everything goes wrong and i've been there as well um where i i feel like oh at a certain time my kids should should finish the schoolwork by now i should have been um on my second load of laundry by now and I just feel I started the day behind. And so, um, a actually, yesterday a preacher spoke, and his name is um, Reverend Daniel Blash. Um, if you weren't able to watch the service last night, I highly recommend it. I, I don't know if it's available, but check on the website, therockchurch.org, and there's also, they have a YouTube channel here. I'll link their information below. One of the scriptures that um, Brother Blash spoke about was, we all know the story, or more, most of us know the story about Mary and Martha. Um, in Luke chapter 10, verse um, verse 40, or oh, let's just start at verse 38. So, now it came to pass as they went and they entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and, and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost, not thou, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, as she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful, and Mary had chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. And so how many times do we find ourselves doing our chores, doing our housekeeping, our homemaking, and our everything that we need to do, and we're so... We, 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 we are so careful about the things of the world. We're so careful about the things we need to take care of, our to-do list, that we forget or that we do not spend the quality time with the Lord that we need to have. In order for us to function properly and to get our batteries filled up, we need that time with the Lord to be at the feet of Jesus. There's so much uncertainty in the world right now. There's so much turmoil all around us, but in our home, it should be a place of security, of refuge, a sanctuary for when our husbands come home from work, that they have a, a home that is peaceful to enter in. And if our home will not be peaceful if we are not peaceful, if you are not a peaceful person, if you are stressed out and anxious and overwhelmed, then we are the keepers of our home and we create that ambiance, that atmosphere of calmness, of of peacefulness or of chaos and troublesome. So I encourage you today to laugh. Laughter makes merry the soul. Yesterday, Brother Flash um, comforted us and encouraged us and also made us laugh. And he said, that's a great thing. Sometimes we hold on to bitterness and hold on to things in our lives and we don't laugh. Laugh is like medicine. Laugh is a good thing. Rejoice in the Lord. In His presence there is fullness of joy. Pray. Seek Him. Worship. Praise the Lord. Uh, stay in church. Go to church. All these things help us in our encouraging ourselves to be happy, to not be depressed or discouraged or dismayed about what's going around around us. What's going around around <laughs> What's going on in the world? Now the Lord is saying, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest 
unto your soul, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Also in Mark chapter 4 verse 19, it uh, talks about, and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust and other things, they choke the word. So when you read the word, you read God's promises and you feel the courage, and then all of a sudden you listen to the news, you read the news, you're bombarded by the things of the world. This has to overcome everything. This has to be more time spent in the word of God in the preaching and listening to preaching and, and um, exhortation and worship, you have to be more in scripture than you are on your Instagram or YouTube and listening to what's going on in the world and conspiracy theories or and, and other negative things. This has to overcome. If not, it's like a weed that grows in the pot of soil. You have a beautiful plant, a beautiful flower, that is blooming of the word of God and your the the fruits of the spirit and you're you're encouraged you feel life you feel happy and joyful and then all of a sudden there's a little seed in there that starts to grow and grow and grow because you're feeding that seed that seed of bitterness of the worldliness of the cares of the world of everything that's that's negative and it's not productive and that seed will choke that beautiful flower that beautiful flower that that is of God and and I hope you understand understand that illustration it's just to say that we need to be more in the word than the things of the world we need to be more in the word and more in prayer and more in fasting and more in worship and praise and going to church than we do of the things of the world I understand we're in the world and we got to know what's going around about us and not have our head in the sand but at the same time not be so consumed by it but that's all we're talking about. That's all we are. People know you as, oh, I need information about the news. I'm going to go to that person. No, they need to say, I'm going to go to that person for a word of encouragement, for a bit of advice, for um, I know she's a, a prayer person. I know she's an intercessor. I know that she loves to praise and worship. I'm going to go to her for positivity, not to have that negative testimony of, oh, that person is so down in the dumps all the time. So I love you all. I hope to see you in the comments below and then the next video. So with all that said, I hope you know that you are loved. You are powerful. You are a woman of virtue, of strength, and you have dominion over the enemy, over your thoughts, and you can overcome and you shall be that woman of God that God has called you to be. It's totally up to you. And I believe in you and I'm here for you. So if you need anything else, definitely reach out to me on Instagram. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions for videos. Let me know. I'm here for you. I'm here to serve you. And um, this word is for me. So it's always for me first before it's for anyone else. So don't feel like I'm pretending to be special or uh, perfect, but I definitely do not. But the word that I had yesterday from Brother Blash, I had to share it with you in case there was someone out there like me. Sometimes I'm bar bombarded by myself or the things of the world and I kind of needed that reminder that hey just pull back on the things of the world and get back in the word and stay encouraged well I'm here for you and I hope to see you in the next video and I'll see you guys soon love you guys bye